means they just completed four stages in and around 2J this morning. We're just off the main street in the service park here. All the service crews waiting for their crews to arrive, work on the cars for a 25-minute service. Also a perfect chance for us to catch up and see the news in the morning. One thing we are hearing, though, is that Brett Wilkinson, who took over the lead with Peak Majors Dramas, is out. He has an engine problem, so it's going to really stir up the modern group. Brett Wilkinson, uh, that is an empty parking bay, mate, and unfortunately it's got your name on it. Yeah, uh, unfortunately uh, not uh, the way we want to go out. Uh, I think the uh, remainders of our engine is in the bottom of the sump, but uh, oh, I can't help mechanical dramas, it's motorsport. At least we went out in a high, we still had a little bit of a lead there. Um, it was looking good, but uh, oh, no, nothing we can do. Adrian, the front bumper not quite matching the rest of the paint job, but uh, back out there, which is fantastic, mate. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good to be going fast again and uh, I think we're, we're getting back up to speed as we should be. So. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately with your incident, it did sort of cost you the lead, but um, you know, you're, you're now would run through these stages, great experience and really getting to grips with this car. Yeah, well, I mean, the car, we, you know, we race it uh, on the circuit and everything, so it, it has a bunch of different roles and because of that I get to drive it fairly regularly, so you know, mistakes, are <laughs> mistakes yeah. come with it. But. Used to. Mate, days like this, these cars, they're fabulous. You've got three of them lined up in your team. They are absolute beauties, aren't they? Yeah, we've had a, um, a pretty good run so far this year with the two uh, Mustangs. The Sprint had a bit of a problem with a fuel pump yesterday, but it's back and going. And so far, mine's been sweet as, so I'm happy. Hey, great social media work for me. I didn't know it was your birthday, mate. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, third year in a row, actually. It started off my first Targa on the Thursday. Yeah, uh, last year was obviously on the Friday for my birthday, and yeah, today's my birthday, so um, uh, it's a, well, what a better way to spend it, you know? Yeah. Beautiful sunshine out here in 2J, uh, hitting the hills at speed. Yeah. Um, yeah, it should be a good day. You're a second in front of us. <laughs> yeah, so oh, we, we don't care what we do now, we just want to chase him <laughs> to the end, so <laughs> it's going to be great. But, this yeah. is one of the great things about Targa West. Yeah. Here you are chatting to one of Australian oh, racing legends, and you're in the same event competing against him, isn't it? It's unbelievable. I mean, I never thought that this would actually, you know, I could come into an event like this and say, well, we're chasing Jim Richards now, and he was chasing us this morning. You know, when I tell people that, they're just, it's just going to blow their minds. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, but you, you enjoy that. It's a camaraderie of rallying that you really do enjoy, don't you? Certainly do, yeah. I mean, that's uh, in, in circuit racing, you sort of you tend to keep to yourself in your own little team, but here, everyone's mixed up together. Like, we come into service and there's chairs lined up, everyone's sitting there having a chat, everyone's walking past talking. It, that's just great.